Yo, what's going on, BS Gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Come and join the BS Gang. It's free. But we're going to be going over Christmas Elaine. I, I guess we can't call her that. Uh, Golden Wings Elaine. Whatever you want to call her, right? So, if you guys don't know, uh, she is the newest character to drop on. Well, going to be the newest character to drop on Global Grand Cross. And she's um, she's pretty bad, <laughs> but but I know why they dropped her when they did. Okay, so first things first is she is very very um real. I don't want to say reliant, but she is very very um reliant on Festival King, right? She she unfortunately was specifically made for that team which hurts her a lot. Um, I don't know how she'll play on Global. I know on JP, when she came out, the King meta was just gone. Like, there, there is no more King meta. There just unfortunately isn't a King meta in um, JP, right? However, on Global, he, he doesn't... Uh, I don't want to say he's not meta, but he's not, right? You can still use him, but since Tarmiel and Sarmiel are out... It's a little bit harder to use them for that reason. Now, she is mainly a subunit, right? Because her passive. Her passive is really the craziest thing about her. So her passive, right? For each poison, bleed, shock, or corrosion effect on the enemies, decreases pierce rate, crit chance, crit damage by 8%. So this does stack. Now, you can only stack it four times because... Literally, you can't stack multiple poisons, bleed shots, or corrosions. You just can't. So, it'll be a maximum of 32% that you're decreasing, uh, basically, like, attack-related, literally, like, attack-related stats, but just minus attack. Now, on paper, that's really, really good. On paper, right? That's, that's amazing. But, when you take into consideration that... Uh, <laughs> You, you kind of miss the part where she doesn't decrease a attack. <laughs> like, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The fact that there is no decrease attack on her passive, it does hurt her. It, it actually does hurt her a lot. It may not seem like a big deal, but attack is a very, very uh, important stat, right? Because even though she is decreasing pierce rate, crit chance, and crit damage, you, you fight units that don't have high crit chance or crit damage to begin with. But their attacks, that is insane. For example, you fight Green Escanor. I'm just throwing him out as an example. Green Escanor has amazing attack. He has an amazing attack, right? Let's go ahead and let's take a look at him, actually. Right? He has amazing attack stat. Now, his pierce rate is high as well, but his crit chance and crit damage are not that, not that high, right? So we'll take a look at him, right? So his pierce rate is 84.5%, which is very, very good. His attack set is 5,320. This is without costumes, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. This is without costumes, 5,320. And then we go ahead and take a look at his crit chance. Crit chance, 23%, right? So even without the crit chance, because Mer uh, Merlin, Elaine will decrease this for a maximum of 32%. Even without the crit chance and crit damage, right? First off, his pierce rate will still will still be, I believe, like kind of in the four, like low 50s, maybe high 40s range, right? Percentage. And he's still going to have amazing attack because people build him with attack and defense. So his attack stat will be a lot higher, right? So she's not decreasing. Really, she's not hurting Escanor at all, right? Just for example. Or let's say, for instance, you go up against uh, the one. Now, they don't have the one full, like, his full stats. But let's say you fight against the one, right? And you're going to go ahead and decrease his... Um, unfortunately, yeah, they don't have it, right? But let's say you decrease his crit chance, right? This is without costumes, right? So I'm assuming, like, 80-something percent crit chance and then crit damage. The crit chance part hurts him, but he's still very strong. <laughs> like, let's not forget, he's still a very strong unit. So, unfortunately, her passive on paper is good it's just like it's really not the craziest at all 
and you can run i believe you can run her as a sub i do believe you can actually run her as a sub and you can still get all of this to proc now to get it to proc you would have to run festival king green hendrickson and evil lilia on the like on the team on the front lines and then have her on the back which would decrease all of this by 32 percent off rip right so it would be good for like i guess you could say it would be good for people who are heavily reliant like like the pierce team i i guess like i mean sure <laughs> i don't really know right for fighting a pierce comp okay sh sure that'd be great right Re reducing their their pierce rate but um where else are you gonna really i mean use this like where else is this gonna be useful i mean i really can't think of another another situation where this would be good uh let's see we got i don't know sario i i guess because sario has very good um very good crit damage his pierce rate i don't believe is the craziest yes yeah, 60 percent pierce rate on level one base stats they don't have them uh they don't really have them max, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not it's not really Erden Sario <laughs> either. And Sario has Sever, which I mean, you guys already know her taking away her taking away a maximum of thirty two percent and minimum of a minimum of eight, like not good, <laughs> not good, right? And then her skills again terrible. Be because uh, she has cold destruction but she only procs one debuff on her on her kit and you're not really gonna run this unit on the front lines i don't think you are at least because <laughs> no again now here's the thing right you won't be able to proc all of this if you run her on the front because one a corrosion she has right but you can't use poison bleed shock and corrosion all on the same turn with her on the front lines you would legit have to have evil lilia like you have to have evil lilia because lilia lilia does in fact give corrosion just from existing literally just from existing if they don't all uh rush alt right so right here applies corrosion on enemies with three orbs or less in their ultimate move gauge for two turns she don't do that like <laughs> like elaine doesn't do that <laughs> she literally has a corrosion card which i think was kind of a waste but i get it they wanted you to activate cold destruction which is kind of still garbage because literally her 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 kit doesn't revolve around cold destruction it literally doesn't revolve around much much of anything it just she's literally just a support for festival king no ands ifs or buts about it man that's that's unfortunately what she is reduced to she literally was made to be king's best friend on the sub it, it, i just i don't know it's just uh, like i don't know they just didn't really think about it i mean her ultimate is kind of cool i guess inflicts damage equal to 400 percent of attack on all enemies and then she has what king has on his skill uh skill one right releases 60 percent of damage over time damage which is which is nice but i mean <laughs> unless you're running her on the front you're not really gonna use this i, I don't i don't know i think yeah i don't I know just don't summon on the banner just don't summon on the banner. If you do, I guess good luck. But uh, save your gems. Save your gems, please, dear God. Just save your gems. She's she she's so bad. Like unless you really really stand Elaine or she's like your favorite character for some reason in the series, just skip. Just skip. There's there's really nothing else to go over about this unit. She's not she's not good. Like <laughs> she's not good. That's all I'm gonna say about it. But um yeah if you did enjoy consider leaving a like comment and subscribe also be sure to join our discord link will be in the description as always but i will see you all next time